Mariano. He said. Birthday, bro. Bro, vibing, quarantine, lockdown, guy. The deadest. What do you feel? What do you feel like? Oh, then you go down, do right, do wrong, and man, just like sit down. Alternative fashion is like, it's like a subcategory of what we need to do now. Yeah. It's starting to like find that new minimal, like that new minimal style, that yeah. new rock star style. Because if we don't do that, everything becomes stale. I'm going to tell people right now that you were the first person I ever saw what, like wear that she came. Yeah, Bro, bro. it was jokes. I, bro. I, remember, I remember when I, I was like, I was with my brother and like his friend. Yeah. And like, it was crazy how like, I was, I was like, yo, I looked at it, I, I like, okay, this dashiki is hard. I wore this thing, yeah, and it was yeah. just crazy how I got dissed hard, bro. Wow. Bro, I got dissed so hard. People were telling me, yo, you, you look like a house boy, bro. Like, you look dead, what are you wearing? Next thing, it's the hardest thing, do you know what I'm saying? And like, I feel like everyone has to have that mindset, like, especially the younger kids, if you want to push fashion, mm-hmm. you have to do something that's literally like, you're going to get hated for, do you know what I'm saying? Things that like, yeah. just, it was gonna be like they'll question it at first, but they realize like years later, like oh that was hard. So obviously, like we we're already seen it in terms of like like last year we were doing like boxy tees, like baggier clothing. But obviously, like people like Moa have caught up with the wave of like things are getting tighter, like the tops are tight. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. More like skin tight stuff and like long sleeve and that kind of shit. But in terms of like 2021, bro, it's it's literally more like everyone thinks it's gonna be like vintage style, but I feel like it's more like you know. Just being like, I don't understand. People don't understand. Being yourself when it comes to style is the most important thing, bro. Yeah. Like anything, I always say this: anything is cool as long as you make it cool, bro. Like, trust me. You you, you create something that people haven't done before. Like, you, you do something that someone hasn't seen before. That like, it doesn't have to be that. It could be something that you've seen and you just mm-hmm. alter that shit, bro. Just like like you said, alternate fashion. Like, just alter it. I'm really into music and stuff, so obviously I, tr- I really try to involve music into my collection. My first collection was a lot of TLC influences, so I don't want it to be like, oh, she, she's only into that 90s thing. But it is something that's part of the DNA of the brand, and I can never really run away from it, because it's what like makes me think of silhouettes and think of color. Like, how do you feel like niggas should be wearing things like the right way, or is that? There's no right way, right? Like, on YFS ones, they gotta be clean. No way, they gotta be clean. They gotta be clean. It's wearing like a cardigan kind of vibe. Like you could wear something that's like, you know, more hipstery, like dirty. But if you're going for like a minimalistic style, then you can go yeah. more clean. You know what I'm saying? You can wear cleaner pieces. Like everything you wear has to be like, yeah. you're expressing yourself. So like, for example, like everything I'm wearing now, is like, it has like a little like emblem where it like says words like, all these mm. three rings together, it says do not fear. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like when you do the, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you do those kind of yeah. things, I don't know, it's weird. It just like awesomely just stands out. It just magically just like makes it more apparent. Do you know what I'm saying? Basically, if I knew that L, if I knew L was going to mean what it means right now, I guess, um, I don't know, I guess the pressure could have still been the name out. Like, definitely around with for sure, man, because. Niggas been saying I was fresh. My name was Laddie. Like, it made sense at the time. Yeah, I don't really think I'll have changed that. All right, what was your what was your reaction when Tim sent in that beautiful ass track? So basically, you were in the studio. All right, bet. So when Ali's studio, I decided to play this beat. When she now went to the mic, I started to say, like, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yo, OK. This is like a verse, but it's going to be like, Back. Someone could have like the maddest hairstyle, but the deadest garments. You could wear Gucci, yeah. Louis. You know what I'm saying? So it's just how how you put it together just makes the most makes the most sense. To be honest. What do you think about like dyeing your hair, like, like, I feel like that that trend hasn't been explored enough. I feel like everything needs to be explored more. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, yeah, you're wearing a leather jacket, but what can you do with it? Do you know what I'm saying? How can you style it different? Can you add patches to it? Can you make it more of a leather punk jacket? What do you, what do you think about um, the use of like everyday stuff, like padlocks now, as like pendants and things like that? 
Um, bro, do it. Fashion is so like you get inspired by everything you see around you. That's what people yeah. don't understand. Like you could be like you could be walking on the street and you can see a kid wearing DC skater shoes. Yeah. And that person might just be like, okay, I'm gonna create a shoe based on that idea. You could see like a safety pin and you could just create something off that. Do you know what I'm saying? It's basically yeah. everything around you just based like bases your like style. It's crazy. One thing about shades. Everybody, easy shades, kind of like rectangular shades. And like, bro, it's the same thing. Find that new, that new rock star style, that new minimal yeah. style, that new Altair style. Do you know what I'm saying? We need that. Yo, by the way, yo, set it off is the hardest jam. Man. Yo, yo, so what, what videos are you guys shooting? Next week, talking videos drop on. We're trying to shoot something else, though. Because I think trouble is not quite right. Altair, the only person, the creative spot is a classroom. The network, like I'll tell you, won't be the next thing where we can put different people on creating content around alternative artists. You know what we do now. The, what's the statement you guys are trying to tell me about? We're just, we're just trying to just really just cement like our legacy. Even though we know that this is like the start of something new. But once we put out, we got a huge pillar. This is the sound, and this is actually our sound. Because we're making some songs like this, like. Years ago, and I said, I was like, can't work, can't work, can't work. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you know, I realized that this has been like, what's the thing? You know what I'm saying? 